So this is a home page of Voice Flow. You either can sign in or get started if you haven't registered with Voice Flow. So I have account with Voice Flow, so I'm just gonna click on sign in. So this is a home page of Voice Flow. If you want to build a bot, just go click on new assistant and type your name. In this case, I'm going to use demo and the modality will be chat and the language will be English. Continue and create um, assistant. So this is a fresh new canvas of voice flow. It has existing kind of a conversation flow and some some quick start guide and also some demo videos as well. In this case, I'm just going to click on the trackpad and just select everything and um click on delete button so we can have pretty much a clean canvas and this is going to be the start point so on this side those are all the tools that you can use to build a conversation flow so today we're going to build the home page click on this little dot here and when you drop it we unclick the left side of the mouse and it will give you options already so this time we're going to click on text so this is a this is going to be our welcome message welcome to um, H N. you can click on the generate AI generate to generate three different types of welcome message so when the user each time when they um, start a conversation with the chatbot and they will be graded with different um, graded with different type of message so if you like it just press our enter key to accept it the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add another text box underneath it and we're going to type a view shop with as before next we're going to listen and put a balance underneath that just give user the choice of click either click yes or no oh don't forget to go back to the move style to the mouse so you can go left and right and zoom in and zoom out so the next text bo box just in case a user says yes i have shopped with you guys before or we're going to say what is your account number so we um can help you better if they are an existing user so you want to retrieve their account number so you can greet them with your first name which kind of really uh, make the chatbot much more personalized and more friendly um so the next step will be capturing the response so we're going to click on capturing response all we need to do is um instead of capturing the entire user reply we're going to type in account underscore number to create a new entity so we are particularly listening for the account number which is a num number with a data type create entity for the sake of this demo i have built a ear table very simple one to store some information for this demo 
You can create this one, this ear table yourself. It doesn't have a lot of information. This is just for demonstration purpose. It's very easy. You just uh, create order number, column, which is in the, in the number format, and product name, and customer email address, and status, which shows whether they have been shipped or their um, shipping is still pending. And also account numbers. This is again, once again, it's account number. It, it's a number format. It's a number format. And the first name of the customer, and also leave a comment. This comment will come come in handy in the later demonstration. Um, so we'll leave it for now. But if you just did exactly like, um, I'll just show you a little bit bigger so you can see properly. But if you just kind of manually create this ear table um, which doesn't take a lot of time and let's go back to voice flow page canvas here capture account number we're going to link to an api call which is sitting by uh, inside of dev api we need to get the Airtable URL first. Let's go back to the Airtable we had before. So the way you can get the Airtable URL is to click on your um, icon, user icon, and we go to Developer Hub. And if you can find Developer Docs, so you can go to API Docs. API, see this is the guide, API reference, and go down to the bottom and so I'm going to select sample database and go all the way to table one, table, this records. So on the right hand side, we're going to copy this curve copy everything that is inside of the double quotation copy and we're going back to ear table so this is going to be the ear table url and for header headers we're going to type in authorization and you need to type in barrel space and we're going to find the API key. So go back to the ear table and um, go back to the database. See here, create a new token. So you basically can put down any name you want. In this case, I'm just gonna go demo and scope so you can add basically everything and two when you click on it there's not nothing else to be added anymore so now add a database database which is the sample database that's the one um, I was using so click on create token because I've already created a token so I'm not gonna click on it but remember, um, because the token will only show up once, you can't really go back to your table somewhere in settings or find it ever again. So I highly suggest you to copy the token that will be uh, popping up then paste into a text file or a note or something. So you can save it in your, in your computer anywhere or you can go back and use it again. But you can't really go back to your table uh, later on if you don't save that API key. Um, so that's very important. I made that mistake the first time around as well. Now we're going to we're going back to your table. For the API key, because I've already have it, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Next in the parameters, you're going to click on um plus sign and go filter capital b by capital 
have formula and we're going to type in the next box account underscore number um, equals uh, curly bracket and you can go down to choose account number what this essentially does is account number is actually the column in the ear table let me show you again let's go back home and go to the database Simple database so that account number is actually this column over here api is calling the ear table to filter by account number this particular col uh, column equals this account number within the curly bracket is actually the one of the variables in the voice flow so we're trying to um, retrieve the account number in the ear table so next thing you want to do is to capture response so once the api call had retrieved the result we want to capture it as response dot record um, square bracket zero dot fields dot first underscore name and you're going to apply it to uh, first name which is actually a new variable so first underscore name and create a new variable um create a variable but so now we can try to send requests and see whether that will work oh one more thing one more thing you need to create which will be very helpful when we're doing the api call to see whether it's successful or not is to add another response um that would be response dot vf um, underscore status all capital letters underscore hold capital letter and we're going to apply it to uh, um, vf capital c hold and create a new variable as well so now we can try to send a request in the previous ear table, uh, ear table, we're just gonna find, for example, one two three zero as account number. So one two three zero generate. Okay, see that VF status code is two hundred, which means usually this code means that this um, the API call is successful, and this is the record. Um, being filtered and come back. Oh, so that worked. If it's successful, we're going to the next step is to create the conditions. So, dev not logic, logic condition. So, the first condition will be if add a condition, the variable which is first name um, is zero which means we didn't actually manage to retrieve any name whatsoever and the second condition will be add a condition of uh, hang on add a condition variable of first name is not zero which means we have got the results right so if we do have a result which is not equal to zero we're going to click on this little dot and we're going to use the text message again and just to inform the user that welcome back on a bracket first name 
and we can greet them by their first name to create that kind of a, a personalized experience. I want to add a little emoji, so just to press Windows key and the period key or dot, whatever you call it, and go a little smiley face. Welcome back. First name, smiley face, smiley face. Then hello, and I help. Can't spell. Help you learn today. How can I help you today? Question mark. Again, you can use AI generate to generate different kind of response. Right at this stage of the home page, we kind of given the introduction to um, to the user. Then we do want to lead them to a main menu. So we're going to give them a button again. In this chatbot, customer service chatbot that I built, mainly we have four main functions. It is based on um, uh, voice flows already existing. I mean, existing template. They have a really good customer service template. So this is based on that kind of structure. Although I did add some other things according to uh, my logic and stuff. But you're welcome to change anything you want. I just want to showcase to you how everything works step uh, step by step. So the first um, item on the menu would be shop product. Again, I want to add a little emoji, which is little couch. That's the type of product we're selling here. So the first one is shop product. And this, the second one will be orders and purchase, purchases. Add an emoji, a little purse. And the third one will be customer service. A little telephone symbol. And the th a fourth one will be um, returns and um, exchange actually would i be able to just move this one to uh no i can't move it okay so let's just keep it to the original template so we're going to call this one we turn in the exchange Return and exchange, we're going to add emoji of a uh, little truck. Yes, great truck. And that one, we're going to change it to customer service. And the little telephone icon. Um, and uh, next few videos once we built um, bots for each different I mean for each functions and then we will be linking the intentions listen to intent so we're going to link the intent back to the menu but at this stage because we haven't built the rest of it so we're going to just uh, leave it okay we're going to finish building the rest of the options for example in this case um, if the API call doesn't return a valid result or um, doesn't give you any uh, information what we're going to do is we're going to build a text box and to acknowledge that so we're going to say sorry we can't find uh, account um, details for you at the moment. Let's put a little uh, dot 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 and put a little sorry frustration. Okay, I'll leave it down there. Then, if that's the case, we're going to we're going to introduce them into the 
actually let's do it the other way because what we're trying to do here is if we can't find anything the not existing user or we can't find information for them then we're going to use the same menu options for them to lead them into the main menu so we're going to copy this one um, and paste here because essentially this is the same function we we're just trying to link them to the main menu of the chatbot so you're gonna link that one to the main menu and also we're going to call this one main menu because we will be using this block quite a lot in the future and also those needs to be linked with intent now let's go back so the welcome greeting message if the user had said no uh, i never shopped with you guys before i'm a new user or new customer what we're gonna do so we're going to build a text box and says it's okay welcome to H always um how can I help you then you're going to link this box back to the new menu again. What's really good about voice flow is you can right click on this main menu and you can choose a different color so you know okay this is one of the blocks that um, is quite important key blocks and I will be using it quite a lot. So the other thing is if the API call produce a first name then we're going to welcome with your first name but in case of there is no information or no valid result uh, be retrieved what's going to happen next is we're going to link this first name equals zero back to this block here you will still get some sort of acknowledgement even if there is uh, there is no valid result and if you want to move this line between the blocks you can just click on it and move left or right some people like their canvas to be quite clean and a clean line doesn't have cross lines or you can just click on it and see and you can just delete it so if it fails let's go to that one yeah that looks better so if it's first name um we're going to link it to there so yeah a little bit better i suppose Yeah, sorry, I just like clean lines. <laughs> Bit of CV, isn't it? Anyways, yeah, I don't like see cross lines because that way that you get confused very easily, you have to go look very closely and see where the uh, conversation flow is going. Now it looks much better. So, this is essentially the home page of the customer service chatbot. In the next few videos, um, I will be building the um like the main menu suggested we will have shop product orders and purchases return and exchange customer service so that's it for today and don't forget to subscribe so you can see other videos on my channel